Hello everybody and welcome back. This is ZDS here bringing you part 19 of my Pokemon XG Next Gen Let's Play. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys real quick. I got the uh, competitive, well not competitive, but decent natured Quilava that I was looking for. Got it with a modest nature. Comes with Solar Beam, will -O Lava Plume, and Eruption. Not a very good move set, but I can always alter it. So just a reminder to those who may not know, in XG Next Gen, in this ROM, you have to catch either a Heracross, a Trapinch, or a Chansey to get one of the three uh, middle stage Johto starters. I already did this with the other two. I got Meganium for a Trapinch, I got, and I got uh, Crokinaw for a Heracross. So, there you go. That's that. So, let's continue on with this lovely adventure and head to the next location, which is the Shadow Pokemon Laboratory. Or, not, not this one. This one. It's a giant pyramid above what looks to be polluted water. Probably the most imposing area the Cipher organization has ever built. Because how do you traverse this unless you're fucking Samus Aaron? <laughs> I don't know. You got me on this. Big lunk, huh? Lunk? I'm not a D-list Zelda character. <laughs> That guy's got an attitude problem. Someone should slap some sense into it. Oh, an Umbreon? Hmm. And a pincer. Okay, this is a weird matchup. This is a very weird matchup. Does Duncan still win? Huh. This is different. Weird, but cool. I think. I don't know what to think about this. Hmm. Okay. No, Zeke. I thought his name was Duncan. Ryder. Who's Duncan? Did I see a Duncan? Oh, yeah, Duncan. I did see the word Duncan. Duncan Donuts. <laughs> How many times can I say Duncan in one sentence? You're not running off with them? You got guts, but... Huh? Wait a second, you're the bride who got you on port. What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news. Ever since I saw you, I've had nothing but the worst luck. First, I got you on port, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and probably stopped me flat. Then Bruce gave me one major dressing down for showing off Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How did Bruce ever find out about me anyway? Gah! Remembering that is getting me riled. This time I'll flatten you. Okay, Buckaroo. Pinsir. And Zangus. I think these are both shadows. I know the Zangus is a shadow, but I can't catch it without chance that I think the pincer might just be a regular Pokemon, yeah. Hyper Voice, Hidden Power Fire. Shadow Creep? Oh, it must be a first, it must be a go first move. Hmm. Well, that was easy. <laughs> One Hidden Power Fire and it died. Oh, he's got Arcanine now. Cool. 
I'm about to say, is that a shadow? <laughs> Hyper voice. Not dead. But you're dead. No? Okay. Put up a decent challenge. I like it. See how good you are. You can't fucking handle this, you little bitch. You can't fucking handle this. Boom, goodbye. I'm so used to seeing Dragon Pulse's animation in Battle Revolution that it just looks kind of weird to see it in this game. As Psy Wave instead. Psy kick. Bye. Yes, I'm way too high a level for this stage in the game. Leave me alone, I do not care. That was the whole intention. Oh, a Rhydon. An underleveled Rhydon at that. Definitely something I could suck some HP out of. Hey, Garbor. Thank you. Give me your life energy right on. It is mine for the taking. And it damn near fully healed me. Nice. And your last Pokemon is a Crobat. Definitely like the better challenge in this game compared to the original. Because in the original, this guy had a fucking Doduo, a Survivor, a Relicanth. Definitely not hard to take down Pokemon. Dragon Pulse. Goodbye. Sorry, Crobat. Not sorry. <laughs> I love this game. Well, too bad for you, buddy. Spot monitor's going off. Again. For like the billionth time. And it looks like it's a very common Pokemon, too. How many times am I going to get alerts on my fucking screen here? Two Shadow Pokemon that got purified. An email and a Rock Pokemon spot captured thing. Probably Trapinch. Yep. Well, I don't need a Trapinch. I already have one. Sorry, buddy. Time to die. Goodbye. Okay, so now we gotta go back to Pyrite, I believe. And this time we gotta talk to Net, or Sec, actually. S-E-C-C. -E then I gotta go back to the HQ lab and purify the four Pokemon that are purifiable now. Or three Pokemon that are purifiable now. Wait, is it four? Let me check. Yeah, it is four. Okay. Okay, so he will tell us the location of Team Snagum's hideout, I think. Or no, he'll tell us the outskirts stand, and then the, somebody in the outskirts stand will tell us the location of Team Snagum's hideout.
So we're done there. So let's head back to, um, or let's head to the outskirts stand now. This stage in the game between the end of Fennec City and the beginning of the Citadel Isle is a lot of back and forth. Or rather, the beginning of the this place. Here, B has appeared with more Shadow Pokemon or another Shadow Pokemon. Oh, boss! <sighs> what perfect timing. For a little exercise after my meal, I'll wipe you out with my elegant steps. Let the music start. My favorite theme in Pokemon X Yellow Darkness, Mirror Beast theme. I am so off tempo, it's not even funny. <laughs> Let's see if my special sweepers can take down these special tanks. One hit wonder. The guy who made this ROM had to have a very intimate knowledge. Polytoad is the shadow. I can tell that right away. Had to have very intimate knowledge of like how this game works in order to do this. Hyper voice. Death. Damn. Okay. I'll give you that one. Pretty bulky. Too bad you're gonna die. Suck the life out of you. Giga Drain. Regain all my health back. I'll catch you later, buddy. Hollytoad looks ugly in this game, though. I didn't even notice that. God. It is not a pretty sight. Maybe its eyes just look too real. Something about it just unsettling me. Mm, Dragon Pulse. The more I use Dragon Pulse, the more I'm liking the animation for it. Too bad all you have is a bunch of Ludicolo. They're not nearly strong enough to take down my special sweepers. Gardevoir, my favorite Pokemon. Besides Lucario, who's not in this game. It would have been awesome if the guy could have created uh, models for Generation 4 and onward Pokemon for this game, but that's probably going to take way too much time. Another spot monitor again. See which one it is this time. Oasis and it's going off like crazy. We'll head over there real quick so that I don't lose whatever it is. It's probably nothing important. Yeah, it's just a Swablu. I already have one of those. So far, I've only seen Swablu, Chansey, and Suicune at, these, at the Oasis book is hot. Kind of disappointing, actually. Oh well. I think I'm gonna. This episode's gonna do it for the day because I'm starting to run out of energy. 
I've been recording off and on for the last six hours. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like to support the channel, the links to my Twitter and my Patreon will be in the description down below. So support me if you have the ability to. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.